Hello friends, you are most welcome in my YouTube channel and my name is Yusumar Parma and today I am going to discuss the first unit of environmental science syllabus uh, of uh, UGC NAT and this exam as you know this time will be conducted by National Testing Agency. Okay, so now come on the topic. The first topic belongs to fundamental of the environment, environmental science. So we are talking about the fundament. What is the fundamental of environment science and how will you study? So if you are going to enter the subject, so you have to study about what is the definition of environment, what is the principle of uh, and scope of environmental science in various fields as well as uh, if you, you talk about so what is the ecosystem what is the ecosystem function as well as physical chemical and biological factor uh, in environment and as well as you will study about the geographical classification so this is also most important as well as if what are the ecological zones this is also more important so like this so many points will be discussed one by one by me and uh, i would like to make you understand all the topics thoroughly and this will help you definitely to crack the net exam this is going to be held in december 2018 so uh, moving forward we can say that the fundamentals of environment science will also deal with the study material balance first and second law of thermodynamics heat transfer processes scale of metrology as well as pressure temperature precipitation humidity as well as radiation and wind and you can see that atmospheric stability inversion and uh, the mixing height, wind roach, natural resources, conservation, and sustainable development. So these all kind of topics will be discussed in the fundamental of environmental science. Okay. So now we shall discuss the second unit, environmental chemistry. It's a very interesting unit, and from this unit, maximum questions are asked in net examination. So this unit will consist fundamentals of environment chemistry like what is stereo chemistry and Gibbs energy chemical potential chemical uh, equilibria acid base factorization and uh, solubility product as well as solubility of gases in water the carbonate system and uh, unsaturated and saturated hydrocarbons like things and uh, as well as the chemical composition of air, the chemical composition of water, and the chemical composition of soil. So, uh, in three segments, we shall study all of these: soil chemistry, water chemistry, and atmospheric chemistry. And till then, we shall be studying toxic chemicals in the environment. And this is more important because maximum question can also be asked from this segment. So, principle of analytical method this will concern with the next topic okay. and uh, now we shall discuss about the third unit environmental biology what is environmental biology so in this unit we shall have to discuss the Definition and principle of the scope of ecology, ecology as well as human ecology and human settlement and uh, evolution, origin of life and uh, species, and ecosystem, structure and function of ecosystem as well as abiotic and biotic component and energy flow and food chain. So these are the topics will be discussed in this unit and what is common flora and fauna in India and uh, other world and what is the biodiversity so these all type of will be uh, discussed in this unit 
and now what are the endangered and threatened species and what are the categories so and as well as in this unit we shall also have to discuss environmental biology biotechnology sorry so fundamental technology like vermiculture and biofertilizer technology so the next unit that will concern is environmental geoscience so we it will just concern the fundamental concept okay like the earth and the biosphere earth process and geological hazards mineral resource and environment as well as water resources and environment and uh, environmental geochemistry these are some uh, uh, special points that will be discussed in this unit by us okay and next conventional and non conventional energy resources as we know that what are the conventional resources and what is non conventional resources so those resources which are in exhaustible okay they are called non conventional and conventional resources which are used to maximum like coal petroleum and uh, diesel oil so these all type of uh, resources are called uh, conventional but those resources which will never uh, finished it will never extinct or they will replenished so this type of resources is called conventional energy non conventional energy resources so in this unit we shall have to discuss environmental implication of energy use and what are the what kind of uh, energy resources are available and the next unit environmental pollution and control so as being the environmental student we have to put our eyes on each type of uh, happening events day by day okay so on this type of uh, information you can change this unit easily and the questions which will be asked from these units will be only concerned uh, what kind of emission what kind of uh, uh, pollutants are being in this Uh, emitted by the particular country and how what how much was amount to release this type of questions uh, will be asked in question uh, in the paper okay but after moving the next we shall see that eia eco planning and sustainable development so environmental impact assessment this is also very important not only for the uh, human settlement but all kinds of activity which are done by the human so it harms the ecosystem it harms the the biodiversity that's why it is more important to assess what kind of effect will be on the organisms not only flora but also fauna okay on the study of the effect on flora and fauna is done under the environmental impact assessment okay so eia will also be discussed as well as your eco planning so what kind of planning you will make that will save this type of uh, uh, endangered species or endangered uh, things so this is concerned with this subject and sustainable development the concept of sustainable development we shall discuss in the next year, uh, upcoming lectures and uh, unit 8 we will see that environmental legislation this is also more important topic environmental legislation means all the activities done by human will be controlled by the law made by uh, statutory bodies or you can see that made by the humans itself okay this will help to maintain the eco uh, system as well as the loss of biodiversity and many type of environmental problems will be regulated by the environmental legislation so in this unit we shall we shall thoroughly discuss each legislation related to water air and land noise as well okay so the next unit environmental statistic this will deal with the problem arise in the normal concept like statistic you will see that what the kind of uh, sample you will give be given and you may be finding it's a mean 
medium or more recreation and uh, this very type so many type of uh, fun problem will be asked from this unit and you will have to solve on the basis of the fundamental concept of mathematics okay and unit 10 this is concerned with the study of environmental education and awareness and challenges yes definitely this unit is also more important in fact i would like to say this is most important because environmental education from this unit the question are essentially asked okay so environmental education is more important if you are, you are not educating people about the environment if you are not making aware people about the environment so what will happen they will harm the environment unnecessarily they will exploit all type of resources and it will result the degradation of the quality of our environment okay and what are the challenges yes there are so many challenges and you can see that plastic pollution this is the major challenge in any city you can see the air pollution and nowadays everybody is facing with the challenge of water pollution so these type of conditions are being uh, faced by uh, humans not only by humans but animals as well so you can now understand how much important all these 10 units and all these 10 units are not only important from the examination point of view but also important from the interview point of view okay so from this 10 unit i will tell you everything each questions we asked from each topic and we shall solve them and we shall build our concept strongly so that we may we may score more and more thank you thank you very much for watching